<laughs> well, it's, it's funny too. I was trying to do some of the uh, the different accents and things like that. So uh, go go listen to it and let me know. You know, <laughs> let the audience let me know what you guys think. Well, that Audible Rocky Army accents and things. But on Audible <laughs> and and uh, Amazon and all those places, they got the books and people just love going down the road. Truck drivers and. Just people all alike. They don't have the time for the book, but when they're driving, it's perfect. You just pop it in there. So there you go. You got the audio uh, version of uh, City of Death, and it's more inspirational than anything. But just gives you a portrait, and 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 from his his vantage, from his eyes, from his experiences, mm-hmm. and from such a young age. How old are you now? Uh, twenty six. Twenty six. And what's the name of your organization? Um, so the organization that I was working with there uh, was Free Burma Rangers. Okay, and are you still associated with them? Um, no, so I'm not. I'm not an official, <laughs> not an official representative of them. Um, I actually currently work with um, the Nazarene Fund, which was started by um, Glenn Beck, actually, to rescue people from ISIS in the Middle East. And so now I work full time um, over in East Asia. Uh, I've got a job working with them as the East Asia Operations Manager for the Nazarene Fund to help with the situation that's happening uh, in Burma right now because there's um, ISIS-level atrocities being committed um, by the Burmese government oh against, the, uh, against their own people. And so um, I'm able to go there and, and work with the, with the locals and, and do similar things and, and keep, keep people alive and, and continue the mission. Now, are, are you a mercenary I mean, with, a, with, a, with a gun, or is this with, with no tactical equipment and, and such, no, no tanks? This is, this is, this is, this is, a, this is a, <laughs> definitely no tanks. Um, this is a humanitarian mission. It's, I, I go in and work with um, the, the locals who are sort of being attacked and things like that. So definitely, definitely not a mercenary. Um, we, do, we do bring in, like, security teams and things like that just simply because it is a hostile environment. Sure. But it's not anywhere near the same level of, of fighting or anything like that um, that we were seeing in, in, in Iraq. So yeah. you're still yeah. active. Yeah. you still got a heart helping people, loving oh, people. And, 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 and people absolutely. need to know this side of Navy SEALs. You, you guys do warrior work. I mean, you're a sniper. Mm-hmm. and But mm-hmm. you have a heart. It's not all about killing people. You, you're absolutely. about helping people, rescuing people, saving people. And you were going back for Iraqis. You weren't going back for Americans. You were going back to help those children. Absolutely. I was going back to help fellow human beings. And, and, and I think that is, that is a part of, of sort of the, the SEAL and the, and the Special Forces world that people don't get to, to quite see the, see the they, they don't get to see that side. Um, of, of, uh, uh, the main reason a lot of these guys join Special Forces and SEALs and Rangers and, and Green Berets and things like that is, is they want to go into the into the darkest, most terrible places, and ultimately it's about saving people's lives. It's about it's about rescuing people. And um, yes, sometimes like when you're in the military and you go to war, yes, you have to you have to commit acts of violence, and you have you know I, zero hesitation of doing that. But it has to be for a cause, and it has to be about um, uh, saving people's lives. And it's, and that can be American lives, but it can also just be just fellow humans. And you're there, you're able to help. And why wouldn't you? You know, if you have the ability to help them, why wouldn't you? Eve Romanos has been our guest for the hour. I appreciate your time greatly. You've been just awesome and very inspirational. And I am definitely looking you. forward. You know, uh, it asked about the book tour. Um, will there be one scheduled possibly where you, you tour a little bit and do autographs or? Um, p- potentially. Right now we're still just, uh, you know, the book release is on Tuesday, so I'm actually out in New York City right now doing some uh, publicity thing. Um, we, we don't have a specific tour set up right now, but we may do one um, if, if, if enough people are interested. So, Well, I'd be very interested. <laughs> Keep my number handy, and um, you know, if you do something, I could possibly orchestrate something in the Tampa Bay area to uh, bring some people out, awesome. but we'd love to have you here, and uh, you'd be welcomed. I mean, we got McDill Air Force Base here, so uh, that would be awesome. a great opportunity, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Excellent. All right. Well, listen, have a great day. Enjoy the Big Apple. Uh, I definitely will. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, my brother. Well, that was a treat. And like I said, you know, usually we do a half hour, but man, you don't get caliber guests like that too often. And it was a joy and privilege to interview an American hero, former U.S. Navy SEAL, who, uh, just ran into a war zone where you're being shot at and did was shot 
and uh, save some people, some kids, and that's, that's, that's what our SEALs do, folks. It's not all about going in there and killing people and saving people. That's what they really want to do. But uh, he explained that, I think, very, very well. City of Death coming out, you heard him Tuesday, teamed up with Scott McEwen, who uh, wrote the book with him, The American Snipers. So uh, pick up the book and get the audio, and we'll be looking on the screen uh, Ephraim Matos was our guest. That was his name. I am Keith Allen. Remember, we're listener-supported. Your support keeps us on the air. We appreciate you, and thanks to all our affiliates. Keith Allen saying all the best. May God bless.